a half inches taller, has eight inches more reach, stunningly. Jabs, you can see that Norris throws fewer jabs, lands homanship into the ring as he was well known as a big band singer. Physicians in attendance, Dr. Flip Omansky and Dr. Al Capanna, and this 1984 Olympic gold medal champion is 29 pounds. He brings an outstanding professional record into the ring. TNT Tenla! Rough, long fight. Meldrick Taylor sprints from his corner, follow with the left. Pawing with the jab. Norris, the slower starter, he has it. The fight just started, George. <laughs> Harry Norris. Counter punches as Harry Norris is a good counter puncher once he gets good. This had better believe it. And then he did the start out. That was still the uppercut. And lest you be deceived into thinking that Meldrick's chance to launch the uppercut, which he believes can be the most effective blow in this with Norris's reach advantage, in other words, would give him the edge there. Good body showing instructions from George Benton, those trying to jam the things that sent him to the hospital afterwards. With that right cross, George, there's the uppercut, and there's the other step back, because he knows the power that Norris packs. The rule for a few minutes, the first couple of rounds, get him later on. Because he can't get it there. But neither one budged Taylor. Keep that in mind, neither one. Welterweight champion Terry Norris defending his title between rounds. George Benson told Meldrick Taylor to stick with the most effective blow. And now for the moment, Taylor sees his command and left to the body. By to use this jab. If they had told him to hit and run away, he would have a better chance. Right hand by Norris on the button. Meldo. He only bounces when he's extra confident. And Taylor sticks his tongue out at him and says, I took it. where I think he has to go, George, inside and to the body. That's in cool. this heat. <laughs> Particularly if Norris, as we suspect might be the case, Terry Norris keeps landing this way. <laughs> Norris, I feel, is fighting the fight. That to the, the long looping right hand. It is, it is it. Just that way. <laughs> and Meldrick doesn't seem to know yet how to neutralize it. In. So again, Norris takes a full shot from... Again, the right hand lands for Norris. Right. Taylor Wobbly. The right hands by Norris that have done the damage. The whipping his hands. Norris with the upper... Put that jab up there! Should he be grabbing and clinching? Meldrick is woozy on the ropes. Second knockdown. For lanes to make. He's very close to stopping it. And there it is. When they get hit, they're going to hit the other guy back. That's what has made. Right on top of the head. Strange that a middleweight fighter can knock you down and right by the ear. So Norris is indeed a clever boxer. He's a, that's a hard thing to control. And only your memory can give you those instructions. And those shots to see that Taylor threw an extraordinary 302 blows. But Larry Norris! Well, his jab hand, I was coming over. And then he would, when he bring it back real 